Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So, I am out here at a Porsche event right now. So if you guys are just jumping on my live, come on and check it out. This is actually a PCA event. So one of my buddies uh, has a new Porsche 718 Cayman. And I thought I would check this out. I actually found out that I could have driven, then I should have driven, but I didn't really know that uh, until later. So if you guys are just joining or you're re-watching this video, uh, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and comment on my last post on Instagram. Uh, just say, Porsches are cool or something like that um, down there. And I will actually give away, I have a, uh, a cool uh, CA tuned poster. So if you guys know CA tune with the BMWs, uh, check that out. But uh, I have like a big poster and I'll ship that out to you, one of you guys uh, later on. Probably like, I'll probably announce a winner on the 4th of July or something like that. Uh, if you guys are just jumping on, so I'm gonna give away a poster, uh, CA tune poster, really cool poster. And uh, yeah, just comment on my last Instagram post and follow me on there. And then I'll show you guys around. And Instagram is at Blake's Garage. Um, so we're just checking out some of the cars right now. I thought I would show you guys kind of what's uh, what's going on. Got this autocross happening right now. Bunch of people out here just ripping around in Porsches. I got a ride along in uh, two, two of the Porsches earlier. A 997 and a 996 on slicks. Hopefully later I can get out there on a, sorry about the wiggliness guys. Hopefully later I can get out there in a D3 on slicks. Uh, let me show you around. We'll kind of go check out the cars. This is cool. I like that spider top. That's very good. Looking like Magnus Walker. Hell yeah, dude. You know it. Yeah, people are probably looking at me weird, but it's all right. It's all right. And I, I kind of look like I'm in Mexico or something with a sweet sombrero on. But you guys around. A little 914 right here. Pretty cool. We've got some boxers over here. And line 11. I think that's a uh, 997. I'm pretty show sure. right here. Coming on up. Uh, as far as tire selection goes, I'm seeing a lot of people running RE71Rs. Uh, definitely still a choice tire. This guy's on RE71Rs right here. Definitely a choice tire for autocross. Seeing a lot of guys on Cup 2s. I'm not the biggest fan of Cup 2s. Um, from I've never actually ran on them, but I have some friends that say Cup 2s are not the best. And from what I've seen, they, they wear out extremely quick. This is Tosh right over here in this GT3. This dude's way cool. 80 years old, smashes around, changes his number on the SCCA every year to uh, match his car. This is the GT3. It's beautiful. You going out next run, Tosh? Mm -hmm. you going out next run? No, I just finished. Oh, you just finished? Okay, great. How are you liking the RE71Rs with the Sport Comp 2? Well, I'd rather have them all the way around. Yeah, you just haven't worn these out yet? They don't make them this size. Oh, is that the problem? Okay. Gotcha. So the 71Rs, these are great tires. Yeah, I love those too. They have the new generation of the Cup 2s out. Uh huh. And uh, if I can't get a matching set when I wear these out, yeah. I'll, I'll go back to the Michelin's. Oh, okay. But I'm hoping they'll how, have the uh, How is the balance with the different uh, yeah, grip? Can, it, it just has really good turn in. It's, it's better than having the Michelin's in the front. Yeah. yeah. Those probably push a little more, huh? The yeah, Michelin's. Yeah. Because yeah. turn in so sharp with these tires. Yeah, it's real good. They're, they're really good tires. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm having trouble sliding around today. Oh, yeah. Well, that's great. All right. So later on guys, sorry, just kind of giving some uh, insider stuff. I'm gonna try to get a ride in this guy right here. Yeah. GT3, 3.8 liter on some Hoosiers. Very cool, some A7s. It's Ken. He's one of the main guys that runs the uh, autocross events. So very cool. Is that same one out here? Oh, really? I never have it on. Hey, thanks, dude. I'm glad you like the E30. Also, so like, where are you guys from? What are you guys up to this weekend? I know it's 4th of July weekend, so there's not as many people on uh, YouTube right now. But uh, it's just one of those things. Thought I'd do a live stream in case you guys wanted to see some stuff. It's an old school Targa. Very cool. Very cool. I love that, like, you know, that stainless or that aluminum. Super sick. 
I actually watched like a video recently on how that was all set up and it was pretty cool. Um, so if you guys didn't hear at the beginning of the episode or of this, um, where is that? Lavania? Where is that? I know obviously Europe, Europe, but like, give me like, is that a continent? I, I don't know. Sorry. I'm not familiar with that. Is that by like Lithuania or something or where that is? Where is that? Um, going to be giving away a CA tune poster, so go ahead and comment on my Instagram uh, at Blake's Garage on my last post and uh, check out that video guys if you guys have not checked out that video. I actually had my wife and I running that, the Audi S3, last weekend. Yes, above Lithuania. Okay, cool. Awesome, dude. I like, I still want to go over there. It looks awesome. I'm sure you follow Norb Films, right? You follow that dude because that guy's awesome. I'm sure you do. He's out there in the Nurburg ring doing some stuff very cool got a boxer right here some good stuff now this is my buddy Nima's car this is the same 718 Cayman S very cool sometime we'll probably do a review on this car I'll probably be driving this car around and we'll do some launches and stuff like that it's uh, pretty much stock right now probably P0's tires are on it very clean um, it's not open but you got a cool carbon helmet so that's rad then the S3, I guess I could have been running this today, but like I said before, I didn't realize that I could have actually uh, ran in a Porsche event and I didn't bring 50 bucks. So yeah, it just basically costs 50, uh, 10 more dollars to run in a PCA event because you can't be a member of PCA unless you own a Porsche. However, I guess you can do the events, which is really cool. Then I would have had two autocrosses in a row. Porsche Boxster GTS, awesome. I know you guys are like, I like Subarus, I like BMWs, but Come on, we got to give some of these Porsches some love. I really love Porsches. I I want one. Not going to lie. Definitely want one. Older Boxer right here. Um, another Cayman over there. Some nice trailer. This thing has the Martini uh, livery. Looking really nice. Screaming goats. <laughs> Screaming goats. What are you guys up to this weekend? Obviously, uh, if you're in Lavania, you're not doing 4th of July because you're not here in the U.S., but we're all, I think a lot of people are out of town for uh, 4th of July, so let me know what you guys are doing or what you're up to. Oh, also guys, um, I just picked up Forza, so for the Xbox, so if you want to add me, my name is just Blake's Garage. You should be able to search me on there. Uh, I want to be playing some guys on Forza 6. I also have a Horizon 3. Which is cool too. I'm getting better at Forza. Like I totally suck, but I've only had it like three days. So I'm getting better now. I'm getting better as it goes. But yeah, uh, make sure to add me on there if you have not. And then we can do some racing. It'll be cool. It'll definitely be cool. All right. So we'll get some runs. I know you guys want to see some runs. Or do you guys want me to show you anything? Let me know if you want me to show you anything. That's number nine, some old school air coolness. Miata, Beamer. Very cool. DJ. That's EJ right there. That's his wife, Susan, right there. They actually race together. And uh, it's pretty cool usually wins actually that's one of their cars right there that's on Hoosier A7's very clean setup very nice car one of my favorites out here besides these besides the GT3 like I said that thing is pretty rad looks like people are getting all set up on grid Ooh, people are checking tire pressures it's looking good all right, guys, so any questions for me or anything like that, I guess, I'll ask you. Um, what are you guys up to? What are the new mods on your car? Uh, I just did some stuff on my BMW last weekend, tried out the uh, R888Rs with the LSD. I know I haven't showed you guys the LSD video yet, but it's coming. Don't worry. Um, it'll but man, the LSD made the hugest difference at autocross. It really did. It was really good. Um, 
from Germany, Freaky Runner. Awesome, dude. What's up? All my German fans. It's funny how like I've really gone from, well, actually I had a lot of German fans before. However, definitely a lot more from uh, the BMW scene now, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. Um, whereas before, I also have a lot of Australian fans, so thanks to all you Aussie guys out there just chilling. Have I ever been to Canada? No, but I do want to go to Canada. I really want to go to Alberta here soon. I want to go see the Northern Lights. I think that would be sick and very fun to do. This is my buddy Nima, right huh? What's up? What's up, everyone? He's about to drive his car. Just did the work. Just, just did the work. Now it's time to drive. Yep. Just yep. got done with work. That's how it works out here at autocross. You go out, you work the, you know, you work the event, you help out, you put in your work, and then you get to do the fun stuff. So, uh, what's up with the manual transmission swap? I'm still looking for parts. I've just been kind of scavenging to see what I can find. I want to find a late model um, transmission because it's have a better mount. So I've been told. Um, also, I'm just kind of scouring Craigslist for stuff. If you guys see anything uh, that's around my area, I'm in Sacramento, California. So I mean, you know, in California-ish area. If you guys see anything, I need the pedal box, a whole bunch of stuff. So help from you guys would really be cool. Um, it is gonna happen. I'm getting the suspension really dialed in on the car. It basically started out with safety first. So safety first, right? You gotta do safety. Uh, so we started out with, you know, gutting the car, cage, seats, uh, harnesses, all that stuff. Getting the car safe, basically. Then suspension, coilovers, you know, freaking uh, sway bars, all that stuff, doing bushings. Still have more bushings to do, have steering upgrades to do, and brakes. So I want to do steering and brakes before I do the manual swap. Because currently, I mean, I'm out here, I'm driving. Uh, it's going to make the biggest difference with those items compared to the manual. Uh, the manual is definitely something that I want to do, but it doesn't make the hugest difference for me doing events currently. Um, I do want to do the manual swap though before I do a track day, so yep, safety is number one priority, definitely. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've been doing, um, and then the manual is going to come. So with, I'm sure you guys kind of know, with everything that I've been doing, I'm trying to do it correctly. I want to do it right the first time. So when I do the manual swap, it's it's going to be pretty expensive because I want to get some uh, some really nice parts. So I hope you guys will appreciate that. Definitely cool. It would definitely be good to uh, do it correctly. Um, so also, guys, on that, you know, I pretty much use all the funds that I get from YouTube uh, to do the upgrades on my cars. So if you want to help out with the manual swap, check out Blake's Garage media.com or wrenchon.com you can pick up like a t-shirt or like a sticker i got new wrench on stickers we got the new birdie 30 head stickers pretty cool um it always really helps out guys so that's really awesome um probably gonna bail out of this thing we've been going about 15 minutes i don't know you guys want to see anything let me know uh my buddy nima that's his car right there he's pulling it up getting ready to do his first ever autocross guys so Really cool, really cool. Um, got the people out there on course working in jail. Okay guys, well, I think I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna see if I can get some runs. Unfortunately, I cannot hand hold a camera. You know, I'd love to hand hold the camera, but I can't really do that. Uh, it's just not, it's not cool. It's not good to do, it's not safe to do on track. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some ride alongs. The PCA event is a little bit different. Uh, you cannot ride with anyone. You have to ride with an instructor. So that's kind of a different thing compared to SCCA. Uh, but definitely cool seeing a different group out here and uh, getting to check it all out. So yeah, make sure to comment on Instagram if you want to and follow me on Instagram at Blake's Garage if you want that CA Tune poster. And yeah. Uh, look for cheap parts in Germany. We have to really cheap use price and shipping can be okay. Awesome. I know uh, uh, Nico from Salt City Europe He told me about that like there's some German websites where you can order stuff You have to know German, but he said he could help me out and uh, you can get some really cool parts So I may have to do that um, Just finding some things like a lot of the parts you can actually buy at the BMW dealership Which is really nice, but certain things like pedal boxes and stuff like that uh, they don't have where they would be 
extremely expensive so i haven't been doing that but like little clips and all that little stuff they do sell that so it's very cool um so yeah thanks for uh thanks for that all right guys so i'm gonna peace out we'll talk to you soon later and wrench on have a great weekend guys have a happy fourth to everybody in the u.s and we'll see you later Boop.